Welcome back. So I just want to give you a quick update. Uh, not too much has been going on because uh, I'm actually waiting on FedEx to send me this other package which was going to be the intercooler and the silicon um, connectors and also the silicon hoses and also the one foot of um, three and a half inch diameter aluminum pipe that's going to be the outlet for, for down, down there. <laughs> so uh, in the meantime I did get the scoop in and uh, I'll show you how that's looking uh, in a second here uh, but yeah FedEx has totally messed up with this package it was supposed to be here Monday now it's Wednesday and I've called them four different times and the tracking shows that it got on the truck on Monday um, but it never came off the truck and when you talk to FedEx they don't have any way of literally calling up the facility over there in Waycross where it came out of last where it was scanned to find out exactly what happened to it so it's just lost um, which is just really weird because, I mean, what's the point of having tracking if you can't go and follow up with the person who scanned it last and said, hey, where is the package? Um, they literally cannot call that person. They've got to send a text message or whatever. And, you know, that person just doesn't reply. So I'm just sitting here all, and I said to the guy, well, how many, how long do I have to wait for it? And he's like, well, whenever they get back to you. And I'm like, well, that's not good enough. I'm sitting here waiting from my package and I don't even know if it's even exists anymore if it's lost or whatever so needless to say I'm gonna to have to order it again um, you know so that's gonna drop me out four hundred five hundred dollars um, by the time I do shipping and everything again I think it was insured for a hundred dollars from the other end so maybe I'll get that back later but basically I'm gonna to have to order it again so hopefully it'll be here on Friday if I get it shipped overnight um, but it's just holding me up right now and of course I made the decision and now everything sort of pulled apart and I've got you know coolant's been um, I've already tapped in the coolant lines and there's air in the system and stuff now so I can't just quickly put everything back together and try another flight again and knowing that I've got like a cooling solution happening here that's going to improve the cooling it's pointless having another flight before I've got that running because I'm just you know going out there you know with half of my ammunition when I could be waiting a little bit more and having you know better cooling uh, set up so anyway let me show you uh, what I've done so far with this uh, intake scoop all right see so as you can see there I've cut out the hole and the scoop is just sitting there so and I've put four holes in here which match up to holes that I drilled in the scoop as well to bolt it up and I'm going to have to you know, seal it around there with silicon because it's not a perfect fit because there is a bit of curvature here and I didn't want to hack into the scoop too much um, but overall um, it's going to work nicely and if you look from back here you know forward part of the aircraft it looks like it's going to get pretty decent flow coming in there so and of course with a low pressure on the other side of it um, it should work pretty good at least that's the hope and so that's a four inch outlet there and I'll show you uh, on the inside in here how it looks in a second so four inch going into a three and a half inch through the intercooler and then three and a half inch out the side um, and before I show you uh, on the inside there so how I'm going to cut the side here is I'm, I've just made this little template which is three and a half same as this tube that I'm getting here I'm going to locate this on the side here where it's going to where it, the uh, outlet's going to be and then just sort of sketch a line around there once I know exactly where that's going to be um, sketch a line on here and then I'll be able to cut that out because I need to sort of cut it on an angle as well and again this is you know half inch thick core in here so a little bit of messing around and you know carbon fiber dust and all that fun stuff that you know I don't like very much um, but anyway, that's how that's going to be, just coming out there, and then of course I'll trim it, trim the uh, the uh, tube to shape, so it'll come to about there where my thumb is on the front, but it'll taper down to, to nothing around the back there, so it should look alright in the end. And down on the inside, this is how it looks there, so I'll just, just take that out of, out of there for a second. So you can see the two guys there with a half inch, half inch core there. So I had to cut out this first, and then I had to widen it out here as well. So it was a little bit tricky to do that, and working in these close quarters here. But I managed to get it done. This is on the Monday that I did this, and then I had to trim this down a little bit. 
that's the scoop. So that basically is going to sit in, sit in there like that, and uh, just get some silicon to seal it around the edge, and then four bolts to hold it in place, so that it should be strong enough. And then, of course, the silicon coupling sitting on here, and that has a 45 degree curve to it, so the intercooler will be here, and then back over the back edge there, probably out where the seam is down there just above that bracket that holds that anchors the parachute strap that's where i'm going to have it coming out there so that should work and then and it's just going to tap into this line here which i've already kind of broken and and uh you know clamped up the hoses here so when i do break the lines the coolant doesn't all run backwards or outwards or whatever you know so um that's all set up like that so a bit of fudging around but i think it's going to do a good job because you know four inch inlet there um should have quite a lot of air running through there and it just has to be a supplement to the radiator up the back which is not functioning as well as it could but i think it's going to work out fine and as i said i think it looks good there it's going to work nicely so that's going to be my little quick update um have a happy thanksgiving everybody and then hopefully on friday i'll have the stuff for this and be able to get it sorted out and then uh, do some test runs to make sure there's no leaks and everything and then get on to uh, doing the next flight so thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one cheers